All right, so, Laura, this was an amazing quarter. Highest quarterly net comparable stores in 10 years. You are more relevant than I have ever seen your company. Design-led, sustainable products. Can this continue because it was such a blowout? You know, we, we did. We had an exceptional quarter with double-digit top-line growth, record profitability. And as you said, these results reinforce the relevance of our design-led, sustainable products our trusted brands, and the power of our digital-first platform. Um, In addition to all those things, we're equally proud of the way we're doing business in these difficult times, taking care of all of our stakeholders. Because our values in sustainability, equality, community involvement, and people are driving our results. And our results are allowing us to make even more positive change. And we believe that virtuous cycle, as well as a very strong product roadmap, and the profit flip as we push further into e-commerce is going to continue to yield high growth and increasing profitability. Well, let's talk about the continued uh, e-commerce. Your company has uh, more e-commerce as a percentage of its business than any other retailer. Uh, did you back into it? I mean, I know that you have a tremendous vision, but it did turn out to be that even in your conference call, you had to say, hey, wait, there's still there's still some relevance to brick and mortar. You're the only company that's able to say that. Yeah, well, clearly we are ahead of our targets. I can't say that we saw this coming to the extent that it did as a, you know, as a, as a respect to e-commerce as a percent to a total sales. But e-commerce where has always been where we believed our growth would come from. And our results show that our powerful digital first platform has a lot of capacity to meet these customers demand online. That said, our stores are a competitive advantage to our digital first model. It's not minus stores, it's plus stores. And they play an important role in differentiating our offerings to the customer. They're experiential. They offer customers the convenience of also omni-channel services, which you can't not remember, you have to remember that if you don't have stores, you can't do those things like Mm -hmm. buy online, pick up in store, buy online, ship to store, and use stores as many DCs. And we are gonna continue to invest in our stores. We're gonna have fewer, but better stores. At the same time, we have, you know, over the next three years, 50% of our leases coming up for renewal. Puts us in a very, very strong position. And we've raised the bar on profitability, and we're gonna keep the stores that are relevant in great centers and where the deals make sense. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.